where you think her next move is going to be, where you are on the stage, how close you are to the blast zones. Bayonetta is not an instant zero to death character, you know. To get those uh, zero to deaths that we have seen people like Pinkfresh or even Latruf do nowadays, they need to read the DI that the other person is doing as well. You know, they can't just do the side B, up B, aerial side B, aerial side B, back air like we always see on For Glory. You know, these guys, you know, they really need to dig into where they're seeing the DI, which really just adds depth into the match. Oh, go on Omar. You know, I, I kind of like this choice, though. Over Diddy, I feel like boss has played C3PO. Some other ditties enough that he, he might understand this matchup. You know? right. Starting game one off, though. Boss having a very strong start so far. Ari bringing him up to 76% and rising. Uh, really doing a nice job of keeping those Pikmin off of him when he can, but... Wow, uh, did you see that? Yeah. Using, using the up B to get closer to the top platform so he could do that. That's some stuff that I think a lot of like lower level players never think to do. Me being one of them. But... <laughs> He was thinking about Almar's uh, up B. You can react with an aerial out of it, I believe. Although, Ooh, Dunk City. Very nice spike there. Just really catching on to where uh, he was going to be with that missile. And there he is getting grabbed with the blue Pikmin, which will be able to lead into combos very nicely. For those of you who don't know, the blue Pikmin is part, predominantly the one you should be using for grabs. Uh, when you get the down throw off of it, you can sh uh, string aerials. And at high percent, the up throw will kill also. Now, I don't know about you, but it is... As with most characters that have projectiles, it, it is really hard once they get a lead to just make that come back. Oh, yeah. And, and Omar is especially the exception. You get one of them, per, like, those white ones on you. You know, the white one that would just rack on, you know, good 3 to 4% per tick. Very smart there by Logic, going to the opposite side of the stage to recover. Ooh. But won't matter because we caught by the, the jab jab uh, into forward smash. Calling it two grabs. This will be even. One. My oh man calling it out as he sees it happen. Although, this is, you know, Logic can really get the stock here soon. He does have the purple Pikmin on deck, which is very strong for killing. Uh, he does have the red Pikmin as well, which is very strong for smash attacks. As well as the uh, yellow Pikmin, I believe. I'm not exactly sure what the yellow Pikmin does, per se, as opposed to the other Pikmin. Uh, in addition to the electric damage, uh, I do believe it is strong for smash attacks, not as strong as Red One, but I could be wrong. As I said, I do often get information about all more wrong. Is he going to do it again? He's, He's definitely throw. looking for the chance, but opted to not go for it there and have a little bit of a safer option, trying to catch him going above the ledge with the up B there. Using a purple Pikmin to break through the fire. Very smart stuff. And there's the forward smash. Eating right through that fireball. Nice game one for Logic. Taking a game off, boss. You know what I think the most impressive thing in, in any smash? You know how you see like ice climbers and they get split up and they, you know, they only have you know, one icy and they make those comebacks? Yeah. If he could Solmar... That's the dream. But he doesn't need the solo mar. Like, uh, when mean, you, like when you lose Nana when you're ice climbers, it's like, oh man, that's awful. I don't get Nana back to my next stock. With Mom, I was like, let me just run back over here and pluck three more. Oh, no, that, that's just, I'm not going to say it's not disrespectful, but it's the dream. I don't think it should happen against Boss. I don't think he's the guy. I don't think it's the but right But can time. you imagine if it would? Can you imagine? Odd Shot City. If he went the whole match solo mar. Oh, not the whole match. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking last hit, man. What can he do? Down tilt? Nair? That, that's it? Two moves? I guess. <laughs> up like, up I tilt, maybe? I don't know. I don't know how he would kill what is with no tilt? Pikmin. Does anyone know his up tilt? Uh, it's a, he does like a little spinny jump thing. Like Mario's down air, but... I like, thought that was his Nair. I know that's his up tilt. What's his Nair one? Oh, uh, well, I don't even know what his Nair is, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well one of them is the right move. I know the spinny move you're talking about. Yeah, I think it is up tilt. Right now, Boss having a very strong lead at the start of the match so far. Already at 68%. Uh, Logic trying to do what he can to create some distance, but Boss being so good at just getting around the Pikmin and getting those uh, grabs or jabs, whatever he needs to at the time. Tried to get the ledge jump there, but won't be able to do so. And Logic trying to trick... You saw he tried to trick him there thinking he was going to the other side. Just, you know, not many characters can do that, so more power to it, but... Ooh, very nice string there for Logic. Tried to get another uh, <laughs> spike there, but it was just a little, uh, little misspaced there. Can, you, can we talk about the adjustment this man makes in one game? Ooh, but can we talk about Logic running into that up smash, but still somehow living by the skin of his teeth there? I thought he was already good. Yeah, is at a very high percent right now. He's trying to come back to the stage and do what he can, but Boss being so good at just keeping people off stage and really having control of the entire stage. Tried to get it. Ooh. 
That moment when Omar actually almost died. Was up and instead he will miss the tech there, which will result in that stock. Very nice reading that spot charge there and being able to punish it with an up air. Untackable. Whenever you miss a tech, is that close to stage? This is untackable as far as I'm concerned. Oh, here we go, those Luigi bread and butters. 69%. That, that's that's almost death percent for Omar. If I recall, yeah, especially with the rage that a boss has right now. You know, he, uh, but Omar does have the blue Pikmin on deck, so he is potentially in a kill throw stage. He did reach, reach for the grab there. Really trying to get it with that blue Pikmin, but instead uh, launching it onto him, removing it. Now he's going to be looking for kills with the smash attack or something with the red Pikmin. And now the yellow Pikmin on deck as well. I will admit, I think that's like the one big flaw that Omar has is, is a, as a very attentive player, like boss. They'll see if he's like, oh, he's got the blue Pikmin. So the chances he's going to smash that, just, I mean, it's there. It's there. It could happen. But you know he's looking for it. Right. You know. It's like a Ness player when you're at like 130. You know what he wants. Everybody knows what he wants. Oh, man, he's going deep. No, but he did have the second jump there. Uh, we all know boss is very strong at holding on to that second jump when he's recovering. I, I can't express to you how hard that is to bash that hard. There's the grab with the blue Pikmin, getting that first dodge. Not a good position for Alf to be in right now, but not totally out of range. He will have to play very defensively, create a wall with the Pikmin. But right now, Boss is just breaking through that wall as he tries to build it. Now, very smart going off stage and throwing some Pikmin off at him. He is leaving himself a little more vulnerable when he does decide to go off stage like that. At you the same what? time, though, he is creating openings for himself. But Omar is one of those characters that can't get Cyclone, so it's it's not the threat is there, and this is that was a really good option. That was the up tilt, by the way. They look the same. <laughs> <laughs> not disagreeing with you, but I'm just letting you know. Oh, and there's the back throw. Wow, awesome DI. Very nice DI for Logic. Man, really keeping himself in this match. Ooh. Ooh. Very nice, very nice conversion there for Boss. Logic stepping off screen to run the stream as well as play on stream. Now, what do you think he's going to counterpick there? Man. Um. Hmm. Where would he counterpick? I mean, I figure Boss went to Battlefield because he can live, you know, really high percents, maybe kill him with rage, that kind of stuff. But I feel like everything that Omar could kill with, like Town and City, you know, it's just asking for an up smash. Huh. Maybe he would want to look for a stage like Lilat or Smashville, you know, because screw what I'm saying. <laughs> I feel like those stages are just really slept on. No, no one really picks them. When you get one of those guys in tournaments and they just pick Lilac, you just look at them like, I, I would have <laughs> like, banned come this. Come on, man. If I had known you were that type of person, <laughs> I would have banned this. Is... Ooh, relentless. Man. And there's the Cyclone Spike. Oh, my God. Oh, my and Getting a conversion off of it, but because Omar had no Pikmin there, he was the lightest he could be with that up B, so he would be, was able to make it back to the stage there. Very nice attempt there from Boss, but because even, of the lack of Pikmin, he was able to come back. Even As, still, the damage he got off that was it, it was worth it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, because Omar is in kill percent right, right now, only 40 seconds into the uh, second or third game here, I'm sorry. All right, two uh, purple Pikmin on deck. He will be able to rack on a nice sum of damage here and uh, use the knockback to keep him off. Ooh, really good pivot grab there. Ooh, but very nice Nair breaking out of uh, any aerial strings. Wow. Catching him trying to go for the ledge with that up smash. Very smart from Boss. Is that a true combo with the Nair to grab? He look. Oh my. Oh gosh. my. Golly, just connecting every single forward air or up air he has. <laughs> Logic's not having it this time. <laughs> None of it. Very smart decision from Logic to go from and Ooh, wow. being caught with those up smashes. Oh man, oh man. The props to Logic though, he does really do a nice job with that Alamar whenever we see him. Plenty of work. At the same time though, it just seems like Boss really nailed the matchup and knew his opportunities to go in and get the grab to uh, get some aerial combos. But anyway, guys, I will be hopping off. I'll be handing the mic from one king to another. Take a guess who it is. If it ain't TK. Likewise. All right. Sub chat, how you doing today? How you doing? 
What is your, your, your tag is Booty King, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I gotta ask. Uh, why that? I didn't choose it. Who did? Friends. All the girls? No, just friends. Yeah. Um. And you just stuck with it? What other? Well, I started commenting and then I had to stick with it because it was like. You can switch. Like, like PBMD did it. But. That's true, but he changed it to such a similar name. Yeah, it's the, pretty much the same thing. Just like nobody, you have to be, you have to have a little bit of common sense to figure out what it is. I gotta admit, I never thought anything of his name until I, until I thought about it for like about half a second, and yeah. I, I, I gotta admit, I giggled. It, it was funny. <laughs>